The final presidential debate is held last night, and uh, if you missed it, <laughs> if you missed it, it was opposite Real Housewives of Orange County, which was basically like watching the same show. Uh, the only difference between the presidential debate and Orange County Housewives was um, less weaves, more makeup. <laughs> <laughs> but needless to say, did they talk about your stimulus? Did they send your did they mention sending out a stimulus check? Did they talk about FPUC or hazard pay, or did they talk about Ukraine uh, kids, uh, sons and daughters that are making two hundred thousand dollars a month and tax returns? <laughs> I have the details for you in a big update and exciting news as you start your new day. Looking forward to getting your second stimulus. I'm so excited for you to join me. And this is a big broadcast of Mornings LA Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Morning to LA Lake with a really big broadcast. I'll be going over what you should expect for your second stimulus check today. More about uh, details about Nancy and Steve overnight. Yeah, those two people. Uh, Mitch, more about Mitch. But of course, big details about the presidential debate. I will be going over with you what was said or not said about your second stimulus check and stimulus package in last night's debate. I covered a little bit on early mornings, LA Lake, but this one is going to be more comprehensive. Go to the front of the channel, subscribe, because boy, no one loves you better, baby. And, uh, you know, I'm bringing all stops out for you today, even the uh, even the tooth necklace. Also, like this video. In this video, I will be going over what was said about your stimulus in the debate last night. Next, what you should expect today. As we were told, there was a 48-hour timeline to get a deal reached today. So is this the day, or is it going to be just extended another 48 days or 48 months. <laughs> executive orders. All eyes are on the present for executive orders. Now what? Will be the fourth item on this morning's broadcast. Now what? Now that we had a debate, now that we didn't have executive orders, will the president do it right now? And finally, the polls. Uh, if you've not seen yet, stay tuned for 28 at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time because I'll have big updates for you as well. Well, in last night's debate, there was some talk about second stimulus. What I'm going to do in this video first is I'm going to go over exactly what happened in that exchange about second stimulus so you hear the exact words. I'm not going to, you know, give you a narrative about it. I'm just going to read you what they said. So I have the exact transcript released minutes ago from last night's debate. Uh, Ms. Welker was the moderator. Welker, my next question, gentlemen, gentlemen, as of tonight, more than 12 million people are out of work. As of tonight, 8 million more homes have fallen into poverty and more families are going hungry every day. Those hit hardest are women and people of color. Color, We see Washington fighting over a relief bill. Mr. President, why haven't you been able to get them the help they need? 30 seconds here. Uh, Trump, because Nancy Pelosi doesn't want to approve it, I do. Welker, but you you're the president. Trump, I do. But I still have to get, unfortunately, that's one of the reasons I think we're going to take over the House. He means win the House uh, in the, in the, in the, in the, on election night. Because of her. Nancy Pelosi doesn't want to approve anything. She'd love to have some victories on a date called November 3rd. Nancy Pelosi does not know, does not want to approve it. We are ready, willing, and able to do something. Don't forget, we're already approved. We have already approved three plans. What he's referring to with the three plans are the three stimulus packages. The first one was for you. The second one was not for you. And the third was not for you. So really only one for you so far. Uh, as it goes through, including the Democrats, in all fairness, this one she doesn't want. It's near the election because she thinks it helps her po politically. I think it hurts her politically. My opinion? I think it hurts her politically. <laughs> I think it hurts everyone politically, but it really hurts her more because it's very obvious what she's doing. It's no surprise that she's trying to give a Biden win by not giving you stimulus. And millions of Americans are seeing that. It's her job to pass a law, not the president. And her inability to pass a law is not the president's fault. It's her fault. Welker. All right, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, you know, the Republican leader in the United States Senate said he can't, he will not pass it. He does not have Republican votes. Why isn't he talking to his Republican friends? Now, pause. 
at that moment. You and I sort of know maybe who he's referring to. I know who he's referring to. You sort of generally know who he's referring to. But do you think vast majorities of millions of people tune into the selection know which person he's referring to? No. Do you know what he's talking about? Do they think you they know what he's talking about? No. <laughs> he's referring to Mitch McConnell. He's referring to Mitch McConnell. I don't know why he doesn't mention his name or explain what he's saying. The Republican leader in the United States Senate, okay, Mitch McConnell has said he can't and will not pass it. He, Joe Biden should have said, Mitch McConnell doesn't want you to have stimulus relief. That's why he he's killing the bill. Instead, he just made it very unclear what he's saying. He does not have the Republican votes. What Republican votes? Where? Um, people just don't understand this language. He means he, he, Mitch McConnell does not have enough Republican votes in the Senate, as though millions of Americans understand how a bill is passed. I mean, it's taken me five months to explain how a bill is passed on a YouTube channel. You think it can be explained in one sentence in a political debate? Uh, why isn't he talking to his Republican friends? Friends. I don't even know what that means. I just, yeah. I guess, hi, how are you, Republican? Oh, how are you? I like your new hairstyle. Yeah, yeah I like yours too. A uh, welcome. Let me follow up with you, Mr. Vice President, because I really don't understand what you're saying. Uh, Trump interrupts. <laughs> yeah, it's a debate. Uh, if we made a deal, we'd have welcome. Let me ask Mr. Vice President the question. You're the leader of the Democratic Party. So this is for Biden. You're the leader of the Democratic Party. Why have your Democrats not got a deal for the American people? Ooh, I like Welker. Good question. You're the leader of the uh, Democratic Party. Why have your people not got... She should have also said your people are in charge of the um, the House, and you're proclaiming that you're going to win the Senate. Why haven't you gotten a deal passed? Biden. Um, this is where Biden's answer is really not particularly good. Um, Biden says, well, I have and they have pushed it. Look, they passed this act all the way back in the beginning of the summer. And this is like, this is not new. It's like it's been there. It's the HEROES Act. It's been sitting there. And look at what's happening. If I was in charge, when I was in charge of the Recovery Act with $800 billion, okay, now it changes the subject right away. What happened to that sentence we just heard? <laughs> <laughs> you had a good thought, Joe. Why did we suddenly go somewhere else? What he's basically saying is Nancy Pelosi had a bill. It was passed in the House. It then went to the Senate in May, and it sat there, and it's not new. But then he completely changes the subject. Okay, uh, it, he said it so quickly that you may have missed what he's saying. You know, sort of miss how my changes will fall off. <laughs> it's just uh, everything's falling apart. <laughs> including Joe Biden's um, response. Uh, he should have said that Nancy Pelosi's bill was passed. It would have helped Americans. It would have given you this amount of money, $600 a week of FPUC, $1,200 stimulus check. It would have been in your hand by the middle of May. You would have had a stimulus check in May. You would have been receiving the FPUC every single month since May. But Mitch McConnell singularly was responsible for you not getting stimulus starting in May. You would have had no lapse of stimulus relief since the pandemic started because we took care of you from March to April. And this was done right away in May. We didn't wait for you. Instead, he didn't make that clear. In fact, he didn't even make anything clear about it. At that point, he just sort of goes and focuses on something he did eight years ago, which no one really knows what he's referring to. Um, at the, when I was in charge of the Recovery Act with $800 billion, okay, what's the Recovery Act? You know what the Recovery Act is? I, what's the Recovery Act, Joe? Um, I was able to get $145 billion to local communities. Okay, this is probably categorically, the, and I said this on early mornings, LLA, I thought this was categorically the most troubling part of the debate for me personally to watch. And if you watched it, you certainly probably felt how I felt. Here is his time to talk about stimulus for you. And he does this thing where he looks to the camera, which is really good. You and you, and I'm the guy from Scranton. I'm here to help you and the working families. And what does he talk about? He talks about giving money to the state governors. Okay, Joe, why are you talking about giving money to the government again? I gave money to the government, and I gave money to the government. Here's where it goes. When I was in charge of the Recovery Act, I was able to get $145 billion to local communities so that they could balance their budgets to the states and balance their budgets so that we, they could have fire to fire and then firefighters, teachers, first responders, law enforcement, so they can get their cities and counties running. He will not support that. He's not ha done a thing. And Mitch McConnell says, let them go bankrupt. Uh, let them go bankrupt. Come on, what's the matter with this? What does that mean? A, most Americans probably would not have followed even 
what he's even talking about. What is he talking about? Who's going bankrupt? Second, you know, I know what he's talking about generally because I know the, the narrative that he's referring to. But if even reading that quote, I don't know what he's referring to. You can't tell from what he's referring to. Moreover, it's not what you're supposed to be talking about. You're supposed to be talking about stimulus for you and me. FPUC, stimulus checks, unemployment assistance, hazard pay, rent, aid. I mean, it's a very simple word. Just say the words. Instead, he goes to giving money to the darn states again. The problem in, the, in this response, and this was his time, was to talk about the relief to the American people. And what he talks about is the relief to big states with big governors and big cities. And he doesn't talk about any money to you. And this is after eight months of me, well, no, five, sorry, I, I haven't been here that long. I've only been here five months. This is after five months of me saying to you, what is Joe Biden's policy on stimulus relief for you, the American people? All he says is, I want to give a lot of money to the states. Uh, Trump comes in. So does Trump do it right? Let's see what Trump says. The bill that was passed, okay, so Trump is going back to the bill. That's probably what I would have said. Let's go back to that bill in May. The Trump, the bill that was passed in the House was a bailout of badly run, high crime, Democratic, all run by Democratic cities and counties. It was a way of getting a lot of money, billions and billions of dollars to these cities. It was also a way of getting a lot of money from other people's pockets to people that come into the country illegally. Uh, no, <laughs> no, it's not, but um, thank you. We're going to take care of everything for them. Who? Um, and what that does, and I love to do that, and I love to help them. Who? Who? What? what do what? Uh, but what that does, everybody all over the world will start pointing to this country. Um, we're talking about stimulus here. We're not talking about immigration. This is a question about stimulus. This is about you and me. We're already here. <laughs> Let's back it up, Mr. President. We're here. You're here. The corn is, well, the corn is not here. That's early morning. So all right. The corn is gone because there's no corn in the set. Uh, well, you know, the, the llama, the cat, the dog, we're all here. And we're talking about stimulus for us. We're not talking about for people that aren't here yet. Um, we can't do that. This was a way of taking care of them. Who? <laughs> His, hers, their, um, them. This was a way of sending them things that they had nothing to do with COVID. Okay, now he's getting back on message at least, but it would be nice if he used words. What he's trying to say is that the states should have got, were trying to get money that was not entitled to them. And for your question, it was a really big bailout of badly run states. Um, at this point, I'm going to cover the rest of this in later in uh, 20 on 28, but I got to tell you, um, the remainder of this of this debate was not better. You basically saw no answers. <laughs> So as you sit here this morning at the 12-minute mark, I have a lot of stuff coming up for you. What should you expect in the next 48 hours? What should you expect for executive orders? What should you expect for over the weekend? And how about polls? What's important to understand is that in the 48 hours that has passed, today is the deadline in which Nancy Pelosi said that there would be a second stimulus deal. Deal, deal, deal by today. But a deal does not mean that there's a law. It doesn't mean that there's apparently even a bill. Let me recap. We started the week with Nancy Pelosi saying there was a deadline to get this passed before the election of the last Tuesday. That deadline came up and she said, oh, there's no longer a deadline. It, I, I misspoke. You misunderstood me. Then by Thursday, she said within the next Wednesday, she said within the next 48 hours, which would be the end of today. She said, I believe that there will be an agreement reached between me and Steve Mnuchin. Then she also said throughout this week, and so did Mark Meadows, that a, that the bill was being written and that the bill would be finalized. Well, then yesterday she said, oh, we haven't started writing the bill. <laughs> the first bill was 3,000 pages. The second bill was about 3,000 pages. How long do you think it's going to take her to write 3,000 pages? Uh... <laughs> Stimulus relief 2095. I just, it's really sort of incredulous. So as you sit here today, will there be an agreement by within the 48 hours announced this afternoon? Maybe. I think there will. Um, will there be a bill? No. Will there be a law? No. Will it be put to a vote? <laughs> uh, I got to tell you, um, if there's no bill, there's nothing to vote on. <laughs> It makes it sort of easy for my analysis. Isn't that great analysis in the morning? Um, is it going to be a vote? No, because there's no bill to vote on. Yes. Um, if, if So long as there's no bill, then we will never see a vote before the election. Now, there's a lot of reports out there that say Nancy Pelosi wants to put everything up for a vote before the election. 
uh, I think that it's a very devious attempt and it may actually work. I don't know if she needs to really do it though. The devious attempt works as the following, that um, she would put it up for the House vote and then it, the House would approve it and then it would go to the Senate and would die again and she would blame Mitch McConnell. I think we've seen enough of that. I don't think she has to do it again. Executive orders. The really big push, as we sit here this morning, is that the president needs to do executive orders. The president certainly won last night's debate by all counts. Um, most analysts believe that the president won last night's debate or it was a tie. No one thinks that he lost the debate. Drop your comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about last night's debate. But ultimately, the issue is that the president needs a pop. The debate did not give him a pop. He needs a pop. He's behind in the polls. And a new poll says that among voters who have not voted, the vast majority uh, are slanted to voting for Trump. But that's still not enough. He's behind in all those swing states. More about that on 28. But the point is that he needs executive orders and he needs them right now. And you need stimulus checks and you need them right now. Moreover, what I've been detailing over the last two days, and this is why, hashtag M. S C multiple stimulus checks, hashtag seats for stimulus, hashtag LA Light, hashtag Purple Power is important because these people, Nancy and Steve, may ultimately announce a deal by the end of today, and you may look and you're like, this is a, you know, where's the stimulus? Where where the stimulus go? Did it go did it go away with the with the chain during the recording? Where did the stimulus go? I I don't see any stimulus here for me. I see five hundred dollars. One viewer had a wonderful comment uh, overnight, and that viewer said. L.A. Late has made it very clear that we're not going to reject a check that lands in our hands. What we're going to do is demand more money, and we're not going to stop demanding more money. We're going to continue to demand more money until we get more money. And that we're not going to stop demanding the money today, the election, after the election, or inauguration. We can keep on demanding the money that we're owed. That is the focus of the Purple Power. You're owed a lot of stimulus. And whether it's Trump or Biden, these people have to start paying you the stimulus. They're elected to pay you stimulus. That money's in Treasury. They need to start paying you this money because it was no fault to your own that you were put on lockdown. They put you on lockdown, and now they don't want to pay for putting you on lockdown. Next, how much stimulus, and now what? And what should you expect in the next few days? Well, as I detailed in the last 24 hours, there's about $800 billion the president can use. He has used it before. He has sent out, he has done executive orders like this before. He did LWA, which was using money from FEMA that was for natural disasters, hurricanes and fires, for unemployment assistance. Now the, now the question is whether he's going to use money that's expired for SBA, that was dedicated for loans for SBA, for PPP loans at SBA for the purposes of stimulus checks. He can do about six hundred of the eight hundred billion dollars for the stimulus checks. It would amount to about a four thousand dollar stimulus check or two two thousand dollars stimulus checks, and that he could also do two hundred billion dollars of that for FPC. The question is why not yet? And millions of Americans of this channel ask that on a daily basis. Well, why not yet? You see, last night there was really no focus and real purpose to where he was going, but he seems to be more tailored in. It seems that his campaign has gotten to him finally and said, get on message, get on policy, get on facts, get on data, stop doing the personal attacks, stop doing the slander and the scandal, focus on st on facts. And before going into that debate, the vast majority of polls that were cited by news reporters, whether you're, it was a liberal broadcast or conservative broadcast, said that Trump, once way ahead in the polls for economic issues, issues is now at a dead heat because he hasn't been touting what he has done and he hasn't been telling you where he's going. Ultimately, it's important to understand that he's the president. He's not the contender. He is the president. And if he wants to be reelected, he needs to tell you what he wants to give you. When we talk about executive orders and, and SMC, did I say it reverse? <laughs> MSC. Uh, what's important to understand is he needs to give you a policy. He needs to give you a policy of where he's going. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm going to be allergic to him too. And the what? <laughs> okay. Uh, I should. I guess only. I guess it's not just Nancy Pelosi who I'm allergic to. <laughs> What's important to understand is that the president needs to start giving you policy. And if he doesn't give you policy, then why would you elect someone that's not giving you policy? Finally, the polls. The polls this morning 
are particularly not much improved. The question is, when the polls are released in about the next 24 hours, perhaps by the afternoon, we'll see the impact of the debate. Do people have a different opinion now the president and his economic stimulus package as a result of the debate? Let me go over some of the incredible questions from last night. Helen, if only I had a one dollar, a dollar for every time Nancy Pelosi's question of virus, I wouldn't need stimulus. Richard, after seven months of no action, our leaders, when are they actually going to lead? George, the president should make an executive order. Suzette, uh, we should have gotten two thousand dollar checks by now. Down Castle, the politicians don't support stimulus. Lynn, we demand four thousand dollars. Diane, airlines should reduce flights. Jim, Pelosi, Trump, and McConnell, Mnuchin, too many chefs in the kitchen. Deborah. I'm going to pray for everyone to get those checks. Uh, J.R. Bauer, crazy how we protect our assets overseas, but don't protect ourselves. Gilly B., everyone has a friend borrow. Mary, every, nothing's going to happen until after the election. Annetta, people are hurting financially. Uh, Sherry, no financial raises. Bernard, we need the money now. Val Val Valerie, every provision... Uh, Miss S should be retroactive. Diana, get it done. Amen. If you've not, go to the Funnish Channel, subscribe. Subscribe because we're going to get to this together. Also, like this video. Coming up next is 28. Big developments. I'll have more about the debate and more about what was said and the impact on the polls as you start the new morning. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay at that life for more.